game one in the books. I definitely didn't expect it to be a blowout. Uh, I actually thought Cleveland had a chance just to steal game one just because it's game one. Now the preparations take place, but it looks like the bench is going to play a huge role in this series, and there's a huge disparity between the two. Sean Livingston should be the comeback player of this decade, man. He, uh, I'm sure many of you guys have seen his, uh, his catastrophic knee injury, but 8 for 10. I'm not sure what he ended up with, but I think he was 8 for 10 the last I saw, and uh, just played exceptionally well. It's uh, it's a priceless commodity when you when you got the cheat code, meaning that you're a big guard with length, sort of like Steve Smith. If you guys remember him out of Michigan State, played for Atlanta, uh, and there's a host of others that has played in the NBA. But this, I mean, guards are typically between six foot and six four point guards. He's six seven with the wingspan probably of a close to a seven footer. He was the MVP of this game. Steph Curry had 11 points and they win by 15. <laughs> I don't think Clay Thompson was in double figures. I'm not sure, but don't quote me on that. But it's uh, it's an uphill climb when Cleveland goes to the bench and brings in the, oh man, Anf Matthew. <laughs> I can't I can't pronounce his name. You guys will laugh at me, but uh, Matthew Villa Vadova, Double Vadova, excuse me and uh, Iman Shepard. There's no points coming off the bench with them. So maybe they can put J.R. Smith on the bench and bring in Richard Jefferson as a starter uh, just to get some type of punch coming off the bench because as you saw tonight, J.R. Smith's defense was, he left it in the hotel room. So we gotta see what game two brings us, man. I'm definitely not gonna miss, I don't wanna miss a second of the series. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a series. So, uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, I don't think it'll be a sweep because you obviously know things swing a complete 180 when you get on that airplane and you got to sleep in the hotel or Golden State don't sleep in their beds. It's just I don't know why it is, but it just happens in NBA. So, uh, I picked Cleveland to win this series. Obviously, if you look at Game One, it looks like it's going to be a five-game series. But Cleveland still has a chance. But their bench, if their bench gives them 10 points in this game, it's a different game. You know, that lull that they had at the end of the first, second quarter where they couldn't score because of the bench, that was a difference in this game, you know, because Cleveland was climbing uphill the, the entire ways. But game two, Sunday, 5 o'clock, I believe. Don't forget, 5 o'clock on ABC. So the NBA playoffs is finally free for all of us. So. Don't forget, um, we'll see what, what, what adjustments Tyron will make, but there's no adjustment for a guard that's 6'7 with a 7-foot wingspan coming off the bench and Matthew Del Vadova is 6 feet tall. There's no, there's no game plan you can, come up, you can come up with. And he doesn't, he doesn't do what he's not supposed to do. So Barbershop Conversations, appreciate the guys' support. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll be covering the NBA Finals. I'll be doing every game. And uh, we'll move forward from there. So appreciate the support. And don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.